Hey you guys, we're Lewis here and tonight we've got another match day vlog for you guys. It's Thursday, it's Europa League round of 16 action. It's Manchester United versus Real Betis. And after that disappointing defeat at Anfield on Sunday, I'm keen to see the team bounce back tonight. I'm not expecting it to be a particularly difficult game, but at the same time, you've got no given right to win a game of football. So I'm interested to see what happens tonight. Come and join me and let's find out. It's going to be a cold one. Right guys, in the car, just pulled up at the Trafford Centre ahead of tonight's game against Betis. Uh, it's absolutely freezing. Um, it's below zero temperatures, and I don't know. I'm just. Well, you you, you build that up, aren't you, to a great night, aren't you? Yeah, I've built up yeah. to a great night. What a great introduction. Uh, there's only me who can top that off, really. Why? What are you going to say? With a, uh, an ounce of positivity. After uh, after Sunday's. I don't know, it was just, no one expected that result, but I think... I sort of half, half, I don't, I'm not half making, expected it to get beaten. I'm not making, I'm not making excuses, because I did expect to go there and at least try and get something, but I think we eventually hit a brick wall. We were playing however many brick games wall, we, a we, week. We hit, we hit a big tower mm. and we're, exploded. We were playing so many games, there was many players in that team, such as Bruno, Rashford, Vegas playing every single one of yeah, those games. We, 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 yeah, you know, it's a debate in it, you know. And we don't have the capabilities for squad rotation on the level that yeah, Man City do. Yeah, blame us, but uh, must be a know, fact we haven't got strength in depth uh, to to play, you know, these amount of games, but... And we had a few chances. No, you can't, you can't, I'm not blaming tiredness, really, to be fair. Uh, it's, profession, it's a professional sport. What they did was unprofessional. That's Ten Hag said. Anyway, mm. that's gone, and I'm not talking about that anymore. Uh, tonight, Betis going to be difficult. Uh, the they're, they're fifth in the in the league, they, they won the uh, the uh, what, Copa del Rey, was it? Whatever it's called, is it Copa del Rey last year? I think probably. Uh, they've got obviously Manuel Pellegrini, uh, ex City boss, uh, managing them. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're no pushover. Uh, they won their, their their group. You know, we we beat Barcelona in the playoffs. So I'm expecting a tough game tonight. Obviously, mm. Betis won't fancy the weather. No. Nope. Uh, but you know, it's a chance for United to uh, get back on track after that big. We have to get. We have to get back on track. I mean, most of the fans that I've seen on the on social media, um, and for those I've spoken to. They seem fairly confident that we're going to bounce back. Yeah, I'd ex I'd expect to win tonight. Uh, prediction wise, you know we've got we've got a game against Southampton on Sunday. Yeah. Again, another game. Uh, I I'm going two 0 United, but I ex I'm half expecting it to be tight. But yeah. I'm half expecting United to, uh, to turn up and and and, and uh, have a display tonight. So I hope two you hope so. Two 0 for me. Uh, I'm going 1-0. Uh, I just, I don't know, I can't see, I just can't see many goals tonight. I can I can see it being fairly tight. I can see Betis setting yeah, up. Yeah, they've got injuries. Obviously, I think, Nab, Nab, is it Nabil Fakir, whatever he's called, or whatever, I don't know, he's out. I can... Yeah, I don't, to be honest with you, yeah, I can't, I can't really name many of their players. Uh, we, yeah, we've got a few injuries and suspensions. It's Sabitz, is that it? Uh, Obviously, then you've got Marshall uh, but I can and, see. and Van der Beek, you know, the usual, the usual uh, injury suspects. So we, we've got a, a team that can don't win tonight. So, uh, but I can see Betis setting up quite defensively yeah, to take yeah, it back yeah. to their place yeah, next. Yeah, they're going to go, next go to Betis next Thursday and think, yeah, like, let's just stay in the game. Yeah. So, uh, I think it'll be quite tight, 1-0. Yeah, 2-0.
Right guys, here's Snake starting 11. It's got De Gea, Martinez, Fernandez, who's captain, Rashford, Fred, Casemiro, Varane, Dallo, Anthony, Shaw and Regos. And on the bench you've got Butland, Heaton, Lindelof, Maguire, Malassia, Mambisaka, Maynou, McTominay, Pellistri, Elanga, Garnacho, Sancho. Unchanged starting 11 from Sunday. Let's see if they can do themselves better tonight. Right, so we've got Frankie and Deanne from Dublin here and they're going to give us our prediction for tonight's game. What Frankie, do you think? 4-2 United. 4-2 United. Any scorers who are joining the score tonight? Rashford. 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 With a hat-trick. With a hat-trick. I'll go for that. Yeah. Good. Let's start off as a 2-0, I'd say United. Yeah. <laughs> Two United. I've gone for 2-0 United. <laughs> <laughs> Good save. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. 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 Still can't resist. Me and Potato Pie. Check that out. It's not the healthiest thing in the world, but we don't have a lot of choice, really. Fantastic. I think all the betters fans are in now, making quite a bit of noise. It's quite flat, no music. The players have just got in. I know that Tanag would have been telling them to uh, put on the performance for tonight. This is the Theatre of Dreams, the UAP Europa League Round 16. Please welcome our cash real matches and Manchester United! scores but um, it was offside. One nil, Rashford with the goal. I think a bit of luck there. Um, I think it went right for the keeper actually. What a start. What the five minutes.
goes because it had a lot of power in it there. There goes the little shot this side of the spike of the post. And there goes from that close, still blasts her over the bar. Who's getting in? Robertis equalised, ball went over, unmarked. Too much don't, space, don't poor defending. Don't know where Luke Shaw was, that's disappointing though. We've dominated, we've dominated. But, we've dominated. You know, just lapse of concentration can cost you a goal. Oh. Oh. Rashford made its way to Anthony, he shot it. Ended up into Claudio Bravo's hands, disappointing. Tonight. Bad clearance and they hit the post. We've got to be really careful though, can't be too complacent. The referee has indicated a minimum of one minute of added time. Right guys, it's half time now, one all. I think overall we dominated, we played some nice football at times. Obviously the odd usual flick that doesn't go to plan. Uh, but overall, a massive improvement uh, so far from Sunday. But yeah. when you leave players unmarked with that much space, you're going to get punished. Yeah, and Tenor yeah, won't yeah. be happy with that. I and, mean, I mean I'm not, it's just disappointing the goal, isn't it, really? I'm not angry because I know it's it's a mistake, but it's just it's just a, it's really annoying, isn't it? I think De Gea's had a bad half. Mm. I'm not blaming the goal then, but, you know, it's a couple of times he, he, he fluffed early on and then towards the end of the half they nearly nabbed it when they hit the post uh, so he, he's not having a great one there's been a yeah, marked improvement a yeah. lot of effort but Betis have had a few threats going forward and their goal came out of just poor, poor positioning poor marking yeah, yeah. you can't leave play, players with loads of space you're going to get punished aren't you so yeah. Uh, yeah, well taken goal early on by Rashford yeah. To be honest with you, we've not had a lot of, a lot of effort, a lot of chances, haven't we? We've, we have had chances, we're, we're yeah, not, had well, plenty full. Yeah, I mean, at some point, if they go, so we'll hit the back of that, but I don't know when. But, That's the thing, sir. Yeah, but at one all, yeah, it's so fragile, isn't it? I, I, I thought we'd come into this game and keep a clean sheet, but mm. we, we have been a bit frail at the back sometimes. Just, but, uh, 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 he'll probably change it in the second uh, half. We won't want to go to Betis. Uh, on, no, on level terms, we yeah. want to go over there. I'd like to have seen us put the tight to bed in, in, in this game because there's a lot of games coming up. We've still got 45 the, minutes, yeah. so we'll have to. Yeah, yeah hope, hopefully we can do, but there's a lot of games coming up that we could do with easing off into that second leg next week. So. Oh my god, I'm so glad you said this because I need to speak to her. Juan Bissaka is uh, warming up a little bit down on the pitch, so I think he might be coming on.
scored from a corner and it wasn't a short corner. Little move there by United. Anthony with the dig over the keeper. It's the top of the day. Substitution for United replacing the 10 Marcus Rashford is the 25 Jaden Sancho. Replacing was supposed to be Luke Shaw. Number 12, Tyro Malasio. Shaw and Rashford off, Malasio and Sancho on. The shot unusually wide. We're gonna score at 10 tonight. He's number 17, Fred. He's number 39, Scott McTominay. Chance there, saved by Bravo. Alright, guys, to finish that, much started for Raul Betis. One, I think overall, I think it was a vast improvement to Sunday. I think we dominated the whole game. I think to concede that goal in the first half was very disappointing, like I say, just lapse of concentration. But we finished them over in the second half and it sets some scuts. Sets us up good to go into the second leg. Hopefully we don't have to put too much effort in and they can rest some plays. I hope the, uh, what's gone on with the, uh, the Bet East fans over there gets investigated because since I've been watching United, I've not seen violence on that sort of scale, so it's not great to see. But other than that, again, proud of the team. And we move on to uh, Sunday. Thank you. 